and welcome back to OS Racing. We are at Daytona in Milton Keynes for in-cart season three. This is round two and this is the first heat. Ollie is in, a, remember, heat's a random position for qualifying, so um, you pulled four out of the lucky hat drop. What was that guy saying there? I was just saying, um, like, get your visor down because, like, sometimes some stones or something could go in your eye. And we're off. So I'm not... I got a decent start. I haven't lost any positions. But I may gain here, maybe... So I'm still in the race, luckily. Ah, uh, that was Spencer Wilde. He just had a little slide and knocked you, which allowed the other two uh, carts to come through. So we dropped down to P8, which is last position at the moment. So we're going to use speedy time when uh, there's not a lot going on and kind of focus on the good parts of the race. And remember, this is Daytona now. We're doing heats. So we have, just a reminder, two heats and then a final hope. Oh. I think I've got him here. Yeah, that's sealed, P7. That was the double apex turn five. So it was a really nice move. You just you go so much faster through the entry and tighter line coming out. And looks like we're going to take another move here. That's P... Oh. I've not got past him yet. Now I should, yeah, now I'm past him. Oh, some so great. P6. P6, yeah, great side by side racing through turns two and three. He's coming back for some. But he's not going to make it stick. Came out too tight there. So going into speedy time now. So I'm um, catching up to uh, 57. I think that's Spencer Wilds, who's in front of you now. Uh, he's a really good racer. Um, you raced him in cadets for a while. He moved to juniors a bit earlier than you did, and then um, now you're in juniors, obviously, as well. Caught up. So yeah, two heats, and then the final. And your position in the final is an aggregate of the two results. Those two ahead just had a little clip. Spencer Wilde just ran into Cart 50 there, who I don't know who that is. And that put him on a bad line, so P5. So I've gained three positions in six laps. How many laps do we have now? Well, it depends. Um, the sessions are about 12 minutes long, I think. Or oh, the 10, 10 minutes for the heats, actually, and 12 minutes for the race, I think. So a couple more laps to see if I can get any more positions. Yeah, a bit of a shame. That, fir that, that first lap, you just got wasn't really anyone's fault. You just got clipped a few times, but it really put you out. Oh, you've just got a little nudge there. I think that Spencer Wilde was coming up the inside, but he hasn't quite got the momentum to get past you. At least I have no idea if it was actually Spencer Wilde's or not, to be honest. I'm not really clued in on people's feet. You've held on to it, P5. So I think I'm coming to one of the last laps now. I'm not sure if I can... Oh, no. You certainly went for a try on him. So slow down. I may have him here. It's going to be a bit tight. You took the tighter line and didn't work, but you're going to go for the switcheroo through here. We're side by side. Oh, look how close that is. It's going to be the last of the late breakers through, and he just pulled out of that a little earlier, and you have got it. 
through it, you're not, not normally your best corners that one is it really, uh, so well done, great move, P4. So yeah, this is the first seat starting on um, uh, starting on um, P4, and we're back in P4 across the line. So here's the race classification for Heat One: Harley Vaughan, uh, Vaughan got first. Cooper West was second. Jacob Aston was third. Oliver, you got fourth. Uh, Samuel Laston, who's Jacob's brother, he was behind you. I think he was the one in the black helmet, and then. Jacob was the one in the white helmet. Spencer Wilds came back sixth. Max Lindgren seven. And Jaden Duduankra was eight. And that is heat one. So next we're going to go into heat two. Which uh, you will also get a random qualifying. Just trying to work out where I am. I think I'm, uh, I'm fifth. fifth. So if you didn't watch Heat 1 and you're just starting on Heat 2, welcome to OS Racing. We are at Daytona in Milton Keynes for Incart Season 3 and this was Round 2. This is Heat 2, so we've already had Heat 1 where you finished uh, P4, which is also where you started, but you did drop to the back and then fight your way back through, so made for an interesting race. Here you were starting on 5th, you've got slightly better, you've got the inside line here. But it's going to be quite packed because you're right in the middle. Because there's three behind me and four in front. Like fourth is the worst because it's equal on each yeah. uh, side. So there's like three people in front. Is it? Oh yeah, three people in front and then three people. No, there's four in front of you. So we're off and you've got a great start there. That's up to fourth. And side by side with third not leaving you much room but uh, you never mind you I mean it was a tight one that a tough one you just had to kind of pull out of it otherwise risk taking some people out still fifth currently so there's a yellow flag um, back at the first corner and oh you're accelerating hard there getting a lot of getting very squeezed and you're ahead no, you're not. He's taking you out. Ah, oh, <laughs> no. That's a shame. Yep, I just, I saw my um, tyres. They're really muddy now. Okay, so let's uh, let's assess the incident. You got past him. He was on your inside because you overtook him um, on the right-hand side. He pushed you quite close to the edge of the track, but he gave you racing room. You were well past him in that, I mean, we're on a wide angle camera here and he wasn't beside your front wheels. But unfortunately, after you'd overtaken him, I think he just decided he wasn't going to back out of that move, came in quite hot on a very, very tight line and had nowhere to go but the side of you. But this, um, this kind of gives us an interesting point because it gives us a bit of time now we can talk about the heat system and maybe like the pros and cons. What do you what do you prefer the quali the old qualifying system or do you prefer these heats? I um, prefer this one a bit better. You prefer the heats? Yeah. Yeah, I I think I do. In in, in all in all, I think the heats are the better system because you um, you get more. You, there's less time sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. You quite quickly, you know, you do a heat, you come out, you do a heat, you come off, someone else does a heat. So, you know, it, you're not sitting around waiting for hours if you're on an early qualifying and a late race, which is nice. And it also gives you actual, you know, you get, you effectively get three races instead of a qualifying and a race, which is nice. But it has one downside, which is you were taken out there. I'm going, to, I'm going to slow it down as we kind of overtake the back. Now, normally, you wouldn't really sort of worry about slowing it down to overtake the cadets, but since the cadet cards are actually as quick as the junior now, the overtaking moves, especially while they're racing and going for positions, are actually a fair shout. So you just got past, that was Richard Marks, 
I think. Uh, I don't know who that was that you've just driven around the outside. That was a great outside move on turn one. And we're staying slow, which means we might get this guy as well. He's gone out wide there. You're side by side with him. And, yep, that's it. Another position. Well, it's not another position because you're just overtaking cadets, but... Uh, I mean, to be fair, they were effectively ahead of you in the in the class race, um, because you know they, they all overtook you after you'd crashed out. Yeah, so so I guess the downside to heats is if you get taken out and it's not your fault, you don't really have an opportunity to um, to come back into the race. Now, I mean, I don't know where the juniors are in relation to this, but. Um, you know, you, you're basically not going to catch them in a 10 minute heat. So, whereas at least in qualifying, if someone took you out, you could always recover, get another lap in and put a fast lap in and hopefully, uh, hopefully get through. But two different systems. And I, I, I don't know, I think, I think this works okay. Yeah. I've realized if you look at turn six and seven while I'm going through, Sometimes on the slow laps, you can see that um, there's like dirt going round, and that's my right tire because of my right tire hit the wall. Yeah. Like first. So we're just coming through. Actually, uh, we didn't see it in the video because it was down to a black flag, and it was down to a, the, the the person that took you out got a black flag in the end for that move, which is fair enough um so you ended up seven out of eight so well done harley vaughan again got first so two first for him today in the heats that was great spencer wilds came second samuel aston got third max lindgren fourth cooper west fifth Jaden dudu ankara was six you got seventh in the end and it was jacob aston that um took you out unfortunately i feel a bit sorry for him i don't think there was any intention or malice i think he was quite upset about it afterwards so um you know no criticism but i think was daytona just... have got to do the right thing i thought it was Jaden. so uh we're now on uh the b final so you qualified second for the b final if you didn't watch the heat and you've just jumped straight to the final, welcome to us racing. We're at Daytona Inkart in Milton Keynes. So I've gone off. I think I've got a better start. So we're side by side. And I think I've got P1 now. Hopefully I can hold it for another 12 minutes. Well done, yeah. That's how you start a race. So um, we're in the. This is the B final race. Unfortunately, it's the best you could do. With, you know, that you got a second was quite lucky. In the B final, was quite lucky. Shame, you know, shame what happened in the heats happened, but it happened, and you can't take it back. So the next best thing you can do is just have a fun race, and straight away you were uh, you were ahead. I think we just passed a cadet there. You're quite close to the cadets already. I think they got set off late, if I remember rightly. Something happened behind you that we didn't see, and you'd almost done a full lap before you came, before the cadets actually got set off. So, I've got... Um, one cadet. I feel like um, now it's just going to be me getting the cadets. Yeah, these are lapped. You're lapping these cadets now. So the last time, you were actually overtaking them for position technically. Even though in the class, it doesn't make any difference to your finishing position. In the overall race, you were actually overtaking the cadets for position, similar to Le Mans style race, right? Like if you crash out or have a... A problem in Le Mans you um, you go in the garage then you know you might have to fight your way back through some of the other classes which is effectively what you have to do here these are a lap down on you now currently so you're um, you're chasing after them to um, to, ju to just get through the lap the thing is the thing with Le Mans is you've got if you crash in the sixth hour you have to repair it for an hour you've still got about Calculating. Working out the math. 
So we've got six hours, then you have an hour for repairs. So we're seven hours into the race, how much is left? Oh, there's about um, 17 hours, I think. <laughs> and there's, there's, it's a 24 hour race? Yeah, 17 hours. Okay. Well the done. math. Wasn't really quick math. <laughs> It's all right. You did, you did the job. It took me about a minute. Okay, so uh, yeah, unfortunately, this race isn't going to be the most interesting thing, but we can uh, we can enjoy some passes. As I say, like passing the cadets now isn't as easy as the juniors used to have it. They used to just be able to whiz past straight away on the straight. You can't do it now because the speed of the carts very. You can see like you're kind of catching the cart in front, but. You're not progressing on them um, as as quickly. The speed difference just isn't there anymore. I think um, the carts can go a bit faster, but because the juniors one are heavier and two have the bigger car, then it could maybe go 45. But it's like taking down five because of weight. Yeah, the way it makes it's got a bigger engine in the juniors, but it has a heavier cart. So overall, the top speed you can see is about 40 mile an hour, which is roughly about the same as you get in the cadets. What I have noticed though is they do seem to accelerate a bit better. So you can make the moves. You can get your, um, you get to the top speed faster. Definitely, like if you do a drag race with a cadet, you're gonna win because you get to that speed faster. Yeah. And the thing is, if you're doing the exact same speed, they won't really catch up. Yeah. So we're on the last lap. You've been stuck behind these two cadets for ages and you got interviewed after the race. What was it you said to the interviewer when he was asking? So I wasn't like, um, I was trying, I was trying to get past him. It was actually pretty hard because of um like the car but it was um quite it was quite hard i was trying to let them race but i was also like really desperate to try and get past them yeah you were quite lucky actually because by this but you 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 were so dominating in this race because i think because it was the b final and um you're pretty quick to be fair you're not not the quickest out there but definitely quick um you had quite a lot of gap to the person behind you, but you have got to be mindful when you're stuck behind them that you might get challenged. Okay, so race classification, Oliver Sanderson, well done. Uh, it's a first, only a B final, but still a first. Second was Jaden Dudu Ankara. Third was Vincent Freeman. Arthur Kalich came fourth. Max Lindgren was fifth. Jake Butlin was sixth. And Jacob Aston came in seventh. Well done all. That is the end of race B and the end of round two. Next up we have... Clay Pigeon. Clay Pigeon for Club 100. So we will uh, see you then. Thanks for watching. I'm excited for the three hour array. And that's for the three hour drive. Right, bye. Uh, bye. See you, Clay Pigeon.